first I want to start with my watermelon pops. The watermelon pops need some time in the freezer to freeze up, so you want to do this as early as possible. So I just have three pounds of diced watermelon. Now, I already bought it pre-cut, and it's only to help me out and just to save me some time. You know what, when you have a baby at home, the time is invaluable. Now, I want to sweeten up my watermelon pops. So, quarter cup sugar. I want to make these nice and sweet. They're going to be really fun at the beach. And a little bit of vodka. Now, not just any kind of vodka, but watermelon flavored vodka. And these days you can find vodka flavored with lots of different things. I think they're really fun to make cocktails out of, and they're even more fun to make a pop out of. So three quarters of a cup of watermelon flavored vodka. Give it a quick pulse. There we go. Haha, <laughs> look how pretty that is. And boy, oh boy, does it smell good. So I want a little add about a half a cup of mint. And I know it sounds like a lot of mint, but I want that fresh flavor. Now, this drink is obviously for adults only, so that's how devilishly good it is. If you want to make it for kids, you can substitute three quarters of a cup of orange juice for the vodka. So, just chop up a little bit of mint. Now, I just chopped the mint because the mint bruises really easily, so you don't want that. I want to keep the nice little bits of green in there. So now, just mix it all up again. And ta-da, it's done. Oh, it smells like candy. Now, my popsicle molds. These are really fun, look at these. So this is what I do. I take the whole mixture and I pour it into the popsicle molds. Almost to the top there. There you go, just like that. Okay, and then I stick these little sticks all the way down, and you gotta go all the way to the bottom because half the mold is the actual liquid and the other half is foam, so if you only stick it part way through, well then once it freezes, it'll come right out. So all the way to the bottom of the mold, just like that, and see how they stand up? And if you can't find popsicle sticks, well then you can just get um, little coffee stirs, just like that, and you stick them all the way to the bottom. And remember, the earlier you make these, the better it is. It's easier to transport them. So even the day ahead is perfect. So I'm just gonna finish filling the rest of my molds, and then I'm gonna pop it in the freezer. Now time for my watermelon popsicles. So I've got this nifty little container, lots of ice, to keep them nice and cold. So let's grab them out of the freezer. There they are. They're so good. Watermelon, a little vodka, and some mint. Put these right in here. There we go. Okay, and they fit in here perfectly. And look, they're so easy, they just come sliding right out. See how pretty that is? Can't wait to eat these. I'm gonna quickly go change, and we're off to the beach. 